Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Dear middle one student, how are you? We will take the first lesson in the algebra in the first term and it's called the set of rational numbers First of all, we will revise the sets of numbers which we have studied in the previous year The first set is called the set of counting numbers Set of counting numbers, my dear, they are all the whole positive number, which means I have to start by 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. After discovering the zero, we have a new set, it's called set of the natural number. The set of the natural number is n, and n is what? n equals 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, which means I have added 0 to the counting numbers. Then the n is what the whole positive number and to them the number 0 Which means I have your n is 0 and the whole positive number And the third set is called the set of integers Set of integers which z is what all the whole numbers are called integers which means I have negative whole numbers and 0 and the whole positive numbers which means z is negative whole number 0 as a whole number and positive whole numbers in middle 1 we will take a new set it's called set of the rational numbers I have here 2 and 5 over 7 as a mixed number negative 3 over 2 as a fraction 15 percent 0 0.7 and 0 which means I have here 2 and 5 over 7 and negative 3 over 2 15 percent 0 0.7 and 0 all of these numbers are rational numbers from this point we have the definition of the rational numbers the rational number are all the whole numbers can be expressed as a over b where a and b are integers and b doesn't equal to zero because the denominator can't be ever to equal to zero because it is what meaningless in description method i have your q q is a set of rational number says what q equal between braces x such that x equals a over b a belong to z which means a is a whole number b belong to z which means b is also a whole number but b doesn't equal to zero because if i said a over zero it will be meaningless and we have the forms of rational number the first form a fractional form like a over b like 3 over 7 7 over 8 2 over 9, 1 over 2, negative 1 over 5 All the fractional form is a rational number The second form, decimal form Like 0 0.5, 0 0.25 and 2.5 The third form, percentage form 30%, 15%, 29%, 2.5% All of them are rational numbers the fourth form is an integral form The integral form which means a whole number The whole number is what? A rational number Like 3 as a positive whole number Negative 9 as a negative whole number And 6 over 2 as a whole number Because if I divide 6 by 2 The answer will be 3 Because is 6 is a multiple of 2 Then I have 6 over 2 It will be 3 And is what? Rational number very important remark I have here n subset of z which means the natural, the natural number is an integer and I have here z subset of q which means the integer number is what a rational number I have here n inside z inside q which means the natural number is an integer and the integer is what a rational number Exercise number one, complete using belong or doesn't belong. Please hold your calculator 
and step by step with me. I have here letter A, negative 2 and 3 over 7. Negative 2 and 3 over 7 A is a mixed number. And every mixed number is what? Belong to Q. Letter B, 2.5%. Blind me, my friend. The percent is a form of a rational number. Then it will be also what? Belong. Letter C, negative 2 to the power 0 is what if I put negative 2 to the power 0 it's equal to 1 because any number to the power 0 the answer will be 1 and the 1 is a whole number and the whole number is a rational number then it will be belong letter D I have here 1.25 decimal form and we have a grid before the decimal form is what a rational form which means 1.5 is also what belong to Q. Letter E, I have here 3 minus 3 over 8. If I subtract 3 minus 3 on the numerator, it will be 0. If I have 0 over 8, the answer will be 0. And the 0 is what? The 0 is a whole number. Then it will be also belong. In letter F, I have 3 over 5 minus 5. If I subtract 5 from 5 in the denominator, then it will be 3 over 0. And 3 over 0 is meaningless because the denominator is equal to 0. Then it will be doesn't belong. Okay? Exercise number 2 complete. Letter A. The number 4 over x minus 3 is a rational number if x doesn't equal to what? I will search for a number that make the denominator equal to 0. Okay? What is the number? Minus 3. It will be 0. The answer will be 3. Because 4 over 3 minus 3 is not rational number. If x doesn't equal to 3 because if x equal to 3 then it will be not rational number in letter b i have here the number 4 over x plus 2 is rational it's not rational sorry it's not rational which means the denominator equal to 0 if x equal what i will search for a number that make the denominator equal 0 which means what is the number can be added to 2 to be 0? The answer will be negative 2. In letter C, the rational number 5 minus x over x minus 4 equal to 0. Which means the numerator equal to 0. What is the number can be subtracted from 5 in the numerator? The answer will be 0. Then it will be 5. Then the answer will be 5. Comparing and ordering rational number. I have here put less than, greater than, or equal. In letter A, I have here 3 over 4. And I have on the right negative 9 over 5. Any positive number is greater than any negative number. Then blindly, I will put greater than 3 over 4 as a positive is greater than 9 over 5 as a negative number. In letter B, I have here the absolute value of negative 3 over 7, and on the right I have 3 over 7. The absolute value, my friend, ignore the negative inside, which means it will be 3 over 7. I have here 3 over 7 on the left, and I have 3 over 7 on the right, then it will be equal. In letter C, I have here 1 over 4, and on the right, I have here 1 over 6. It is what? I have here the common numerator, which means 1 over 4 is what? Greater than 1 over 6. Okay? Because in number D, I have here negative 5 over 7, and negative 3 over 2. The best way, my friend, is to make scissors from down to up. I will multiply 2 by 5 
2 by negative 5, then the answer will be negative 10. And I will multiply 7 by negative 3, the answer will be negative 21. I have negative 10 and I have negative 21. And as we know, negative 10 is what greater than negative 21. Arrange the following in an ascending order. I have here 3 over 4. I have here negative 5 over 8. I have here negative 7 over 12. And I have here 2 over 3. I will use the easiest way is what convert the fraction into a decimal form. 3 over 4 will be 0 0.75. And the negative 5 over 8, I will take the two numbers after the decimal point, then the answer will be negative 0 0.62. And I have here negative 7 over 12 will be converted in the decimal form, will be negative 0 0.58. And the last one, 2 over 3, it will be 0 0.0.6 recurring number. Recurring decimal, sorry, then it will be 0 0.66. I will take the first two digits of the decimal point. Then I have here the order is negative 5 over 8 because it's what negative 0 0.62 and negative 7 over 12 and 2 over 3 and 3 over 4. I arrange it the negative first and I finished by the positive numbers and thank you